Hi, my name is Amy. Welcome to Flip It Furniture. Today I want to share with you the steps that I use to sand a tabletop. The goal is to have a nice, smooth, polished surface. We don't want to leave any swirls or marks. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. And if you find this video helpful, like and subscribe. So let's get into it. So the first thing I want to talk about is the actual sander. I'm using just a Black & Decker here. It's pretty inexpensive. Um, I have had five in the last four years and they've either burned out or the top came peeling off. I don't know if it's my luck or because I use it an awful lot, but I've gone, I've had expensive ones and I've had inexpensive ones. My recommendation would be to use something in the middle. I also want to talk about my sanding paper. I used to go to Home Depot about once a week and buy a six pack for way too much money. And then my dad had suggested just go on Amazon and they have a box. I bought this box. I think it was a hundred for $13.99 and they come in all different grits from, I think it's 40 to 800. So this has lasted me a really long time and I highly recommend it. Um, I'm using my orbital sander today. It's a circular one and I like this for large tabletops. I wouldn't use a belt sander. Those are pretty heavy duty. And I also love a mouse sander for furniture because you can get into little like cracks and nooks. It would have been perfect for right here or even here where you have to be really careful. Um, but my mouse sander just stopped working. So I don't have that right now. All right, I'm going to get started. I'm going to use the first one I'm going to use is 60 grit. I just put it on, it sticks, and I get going. I use a 60 grit because I don't want to strip. If you can put a citrus strip here to take the um, finish off, but for me, that's a lot of extra added work. I have to sand it anyway, so I might as well just do it this way. It works for me. I recommend it. <laughs> I have to. The last thing I want to say is always put your mask on because when you're sanding, even if you have, you know, this little sanding bag, it still kicks up a lot of dust and you don't want to inhale that through your nose or your mouth. Um, okay, so let's get started. So I always want to sand in the direction that the grain is going and it's going from side to side. Okay, so here I want to show you how I sand the side of the table. It's pretty tricky actually because all you want to do is just take the finish off. You don't want to go too deep uh, because you don't want to change the way of the wood and it has such a nice curve here. So we have to be careful. So here's one way to do it. So as you can see, I didn't change anything about it. The curve is still there. Now, another way you can do it is if you're afraid you're gonna go too deep, just use a sanding pad. And I would say like 120 grit. Okay. And you can just do it manually. That's how I do tables that have a lot of curves in them. They have those little pointy ridges. I'll just use this. But that is gonna take forever, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my orbital sander. Okay, so I just finished my first round of sanding. I used a 60 
grit um, sandpaper and when you use it so low it can make those swirl marks um, you want to keep leveling up so the next one I'm going to use is 80 and then I'm going to use 120 then I'm going to go 180 and then 220 okay so now I'm going to go in with my 80 grit and all these little marks that we see I'm going to kind of buff those out Okay, I'm not really polishing this yet because I want to get all the marks out. So 60 took the finish off, 80 gets the marks out, and then we start buffing and polishing with the other grits. Okay, now here we're going to do a 120 grit. Okay, now we're going to do 240. So I just finished up sanding with the 240 grit, and now I'm going to do the test to see if we have any swirls. As you can see, it's super smooth. I mean, it's just in great shape. And the only thing left are the knots, the natural knots, and we want to leave those. So let's see. For a little mineral spirits. And it is pretty smooth, no swirls. If you want to see the rest of this video, I'm going to leave the link in the description if you want to see the full table makeover. But other than that, it's all done. I know it's a lot of work. I think I started this at 12:30. It's 4:30, so it's a couple hours of work, and it's pretty boring. But if you do this and you sell furniture, you do it this way, I really think it'll increase your sales. Um, I've never had complaints. Everyone always says how beautiful the finish is. So I hope this helps. Um, I'll see you in the next video.